So, before you record a video, and, it, and I always use direct upload or whatever, there's like, you see yourself in the webcam thing, and I don't think I've seen myself since 1 in the afternoon, maybe? So, when I looked in the, the, the little screen capture -y thing, and I see how I look, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. Um, today was pretty interesting. My son has been waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He is, he went to bed at 7 tonight. 7. So he's going to wake up at 3 again. I don't like this. It's 8 right now. It's 8.30 something. I'm looking at the clock. It's 8.30 something. It's 8.38. I know what time it is. It's right there. Right there. But I'm like, oh, it's 8.30 something. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyways, so he woke up at 3-ish. I don't know. I didn't get up and look at the clock. It was 3 something. Oh, and I'm like, oh, please go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. Please just at least stay in the room so I don't have to get up out of bed. I'm so tired. Because I didn't go to bed until, like, way late. Because I was up with my husband. Because I, last night, borrowed money from my sister and went to Walmart and got my headset and some pull-ups and some clothes for the baby's interview today. Because he had an interview. And... So, yeah, we had all fun stuff. Um, today he had the first screening for his PBT, or PBAT, whatever. It's Transdisciplinary Plan-Based Screening Summary for my son. And it just goes over, like, all the things that he needs to learn. And some of the things they're expecting him to do. Yeah, he's three. They expect him to have noun verbs and description words. What's descriptive words, which is an adjective. I don't know why they can list a noun and a verb, but not an adjective. Apparently people don't know those. He's able to, he's meant to list food, animals, clothing. Combine two to three words. Right now, my son's maybe at a between. They say he's at a 20 word, word vocabulary. I say he's at a 50. But he is supposed to be way below, beyond that. He's meant to be like, Mommy, I want to go. And things like that. He's like, Mommy, go. Mommy. And sometimes Mommy, go doesn't happen. So, yeah. um, They're kind of, they're like, he's really delayed. And blah, 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 blah. So I've got that going on. And they're like, yeah, you need you need a screening to see how severe he is. But he has autism, but we just have to screen to see how severe it is. And what actions we're going to have to take. So apparently my son's going to be in special ed for the rest of his life. Which is very stressing. And blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, uh, here's the thing. My son is my son. And I love my son no matter what. But when people tell me that he has this wrong with him. And he's going to have to face this the rest of his life. I get pissed off. Because it's not fair to him. I don't want him to have these difficulties that he has to overcome. And I'll be there for him no matter what. And that's my son. So, I mean, who the hell wouldn't be there for their their, their baby? Um, But it just bothers me that he's going to have to go through so many things. And he's not as severe as some children with autism. But he's got some issues where he's not speaking. He doesn't, like, um maintain eye contact or whatever. He doesn't even look at you technically when you speak to him. He just kind of zones. <laughs> I mean, he's adorable. He's cute. He just is not getting stuff the way he's supposed to. Um, and I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but he's on Respital, which is like for mood swings with autistic children. But the person who put him on the Respital, sorry, the person who put him on the respital didn't technically diagnose him with autism. They just gave him a medicine to help with it. So the school district is bringing their psychiatrist in. And their psychiatrist is saying, yes, he has autism. This is, this is what you need to do. This is what you've got to do. Blah, 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 bl
I have been running ragged. So today, after therapy, he did therapy, which sucked because it's he ha now has a new therapist, and his new therapist is Robert, which I don't like leaving him alone with people, and specifically males, because I'm sorry, I don't want to be gender specific, but child molesters are prone to be generally 80% male over the 20% female population that are molesters. Um, so the chances are it's going to be a male. And I don't like to leave him alone with a male. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to start requesting to sit in there and be like, oh, I just want to, you know, learn some techniques or whatever. Um, which is true because I don't know how to play with my son. Um, when I was growing up, I was chunked in a room and left alone. Um, and I was just left there. And if I made noise, I got spanked. Or if I, you know, did this, I got spanked. And that was just the way I grew up. You know, you were quiet, you sat there, and you did nothing. Um, so when I, I'm like, I'm supposed to play with him and I'm supposed to do this and I do play with him and I try, but it's very hard because I don't know how to do that stuff. Cause I was never, you know, interacted with when I was a kid. So it's very hard for me to interact with him cause I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I love my son more than anything, but I'm not a fun mom. I know I'm not a fun mom. For one, I'm sick with my ki liver and kidney failure and all that other fun stuff that's going on with me. Um, and I don't have a lot of energy, but to to play with him and to interact with him and to do all this stuff with him, it's very hard. Cause I don't I don't know how to do, you know. Um. So I've got that going on, and after, th so I'm worried about his therapist and doing all the fun stuff with blah blah blah. Um. So he's got his therapist that he goes to. And he's supposed to have an occupational therapist, but his insurance keeps like, oh, we need to prove you again for the month. And then it takes like a month and a half for them to prove him so he doesn't get seen for a month, which is ridiculous. Um, um, this video would be a lot shorter if I wasn't um and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so after that, we drove and I got lost because I kind of just like, oh, I know where golf bank is. Let's drive. Um, <laughs> so I got there, and I got there early, though. Um, I, I didn't get lost. I went right instead of left, and then I looked at the street signs, and I noticed, and I turned around, and I went the other way. That's me getting lost. Um, I got there like 30 minutes early, which sucks because it was raining so we had to run through the parking lot in the rain so we're sitting in the office drenching like I am soaked I mean like from the car to the office like it, it poured buckets and my son decided that he was gonna run in front of me and and jump in the puddles instead of sitting under so he got soaked and I'm trying to hold it underneath him instead of me because I'm trying to protect him but he is dodging and oh, it was just so funny to watch. I knew it would, it would have been amazing just to watch me holding the umbrella extended over, you know, as far as I could trying to catch him. And he's running, Mommy, catch! Mommy, play! Mommy, water! <laughs> um, so we got in and then they evaluated him and then they told me all this stuff. And then I've got to go for another evaluation at um, there's a school name somewhere. De, de Santiago? Um, so I've got to go there, which I don't know what that is. Um, I'm assuming it's a school. It's another evaluation center. And they're supposed to call me, and they're supposed to set up an appointment. And then once they do that, then he'll go. Then he'll start going to school, which will be good because he can have interaction with other people, and I can probably sleep. I want some sleep. I want to heal. I want to get over, you know, my sickness. Um, I need to make another video, following up this with what they did to me at the dialysis center so mad at the dialysis center but this is like eight minutes and if you can pay attention for eight minutes kudos to you i'll probably post another one and explain what they did to me at the dialysis center and how much pain they put me through um i don't want to overwhelm my subscribers like all ten of you um <laughs> with boring stuff but that's basically what's been going on i've also got to tell you all the fun stuff that happened when my husband was gone um, I can pretty sure I can like do a collab picture type thing that would be cool. Um, discuss my son's birthday party and all that other stuff. Yay. I'm sorry I look sick. Um, cause, cause I am. <laughs>